So would you be like, look what we found? Like, be more excited about it? I went to the cemetery, I hope. located 18 miles east of Savannah, Georgia. It's the easternmost point of the state, making it a great place to catch a sunrise. So funny because yesterday the other beach wasn't windy and it wasn't this cold. He's barefoot. Steph, there's your guy. That is kind of my type. So we just took in the sunrise at Tybee Island here in Savannah, Georgia. And if you and if you miss our previous episode, our friend Steph is joining us. So now we are off to see one of Savannah's must-see spots. We're at Wormslow, the former site of the Wormslow Plantation here in Savannah, Georgia. The plantation was owned by one of the original founders of the colony of Georgia. 400 trees line this mile and a half road that leads to the ruins of the original plantation home. So let's go. Colonial founder Noble Jones acquired these 500 acres known as Wormslow in 1736. Upon Jones' death in 1775, he left the estate to his son Wimberly Jones, who created the avenue lined with over 400 oak trees that you see here. These are the remains of Noel Jones' Tabby House. This is the oldest standing structure in Savannah, Georgia. So it's a Tabby home, and Tabby is the actual mixture of uh, what was made to build the wall. So it's an equal part mixture of sand, oyster shells, lime, and fresh water. And the, the walls were built eight feet high. Very interesting stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
Wormslow Plantation was used for producing corn, rice, produce, and indigo. Today, the majority of the site is owned by the Georgia State Parks and hosts a museum, a colonial life exhibit, and is still home to the mansion that the Jones' descendants built after his death. So we're here at the Bonaventure Cemetery. This is the largest cemetery in Savannah at 160 acres. It's also one of the most beautiful. It was rated one of the top 10 most beautiful in the world. The name comes from the Italian word Bonaventura that means good fortune. Some of the notable people that have been laid to rest here include Conrad Aiken, who is a poet, and also singer-songwriter Johnny Mercer. We also realized that Noble Jones, who is one of the original founders of the colony of Georgia, is laid to rest here. And you may remember that name from the Wormslow Historic Site, as that was his plantation. So we learned that before being a cemetery, Bonaventure was actually a plantation, and those who were enslaved on the plantation would make bricks, and those bricks were used on the squares in downtown Savannah. And they're also used in some parts here in the cemetery, and you can tell by the tic-tac-toe markings on these ones here. Now that is somewhat disputed, but we read it online, so it's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We also learned that these bricks are very commonly stolen as well. with a full smorgasbord, smorgas, whatever that word is, from Mrs. Wilkes, the famous Mrs. Wilkes. So Mrs. Wilkes is known for its communal style dining. You go in and sit at a table with other people, but obviously during COVID, that's not a thing. So we got takeout and we ordered the chicken breasts and you get three sides and they're so generous that here we have eight sides and probably double the chicken breasts that we ordered and that's just the great thing about going to Mrs. Wilkes. 